Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is me, your English instructor, Muhammad Asnan, once again with all of you people. Today, I'm going to be doing one of the lately asked topics that I asked to people for. It was a Q&A uh, question answer session and I asked to people for questions that I'm going to be answering in today's video. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy today's video and if your uh, questions aren't here. So if your questions are long, like for example, essays, etc. So I'm going to make separate videos on those. And if your question isn't there, so then you guys can tell me in the comment box. I will hopefully see those because uh, I'm usually busy. But I'll try my level best to see those and make another question answer session if there are any more questions of your people. So let's get into it so our question number one is so the question number one is school me kyu angrezi sikhai jati hai now first of all i'm not a teacher nor a principal because i don't know what is this but according to my knowledge it's also the curriculum that is also telling them and secondly it's a need for all the students nowadays because most of their books that are like from outside or that are actually important and good and have some good effort put into them are actually in english and we cannot learn things that are in english without knowing how to learn or without knowing how to read or write or speak english then we won't be able to learn any of the subjects if that's chemistry, if that's psychology, if that's biology, if that's uh, physics, any kind of topic. We won't be able to understand any of those. So English is kind of like the need for nowadays. But if we watch as a like instructor, I think it's more like a... Uh, I've never taught in a private school, so I don't know what's their thing. But usually it's because of the syllabus that it includes the language English. And if there's anybody out there who has a problem with the English so I'd tell them one thing that there's no problem in learning English language because it is a skill. We can learn any language we want at any time we want. Age doesn't matter, time doesn't matter, lifetime doesn't matter, your, ba your background, anything, it doesn't matter. Skills are skills, you can keep them. The world's only thing that are skills that aren't wasted, that aren't a, aren't a kind of like problem for you. They are always there for you. Even if you don't use those skills, they will never be a disadvantage. It will always give you advantage or sometimes give you nothing. So let's go towards question number two. Well, uh, the second question is that how to build confidence. Now, this is a really great topic and a really magnificent topic and long one. I'm going to make a separate video on it, but I'll give you a short introduction or a short ideology towards what my video is going to be. So I'll give you a summary. Uh, you guys know that when you're talking to your family in your language or if you're talking to anyone, if you're talking in front of anyone uh, that you know, so like you have that courage because you are used to them. When you are used to talking in front of millions of people, it won't be a thing. Those millions of people who you didn't know even that they existed a few minutes ago, now that you are seeing them, you will feel familiar with them when you have trained. It's like, for example, that cup that is hot. So in the start, it will like give you some burns, but at the end, it will be like good warm water that you can drink. In the start, it would be a bit painful, but then it will get easier and you will be able to learn, you will be able to teach and you will be able to speak confidently in front of millions and trillions of people, not trillions, but like millions and millions of people in front of you, you will be able to speak then. And I'll give you one more thing, the ideology that I have kept. That is that three things give you confidence, information, information practice and saying the reality. These are the three things that give you confidence. When you, say, when you have the information, you know that what you are speaking, so you are confident that yes, I'm correct. And if the person is disagreeing, you know that that guy is wrong. So you can openly blame him, you can openly say and you can openly disagree to him. You are confident. Number second, when you practice, when you practice to talking, with talking with anyone, so you'll be able to go ahead and talk to any person that you meet. Practice is really important in this case. And then when you are saying the reality, if there are even millions and millions of people who are blaming you out there. If you are saying the reality and if the thing that you are saying is the truth, so you'll be able to say it without any problems. You might have seen that the people who are lying have a bit problem with saying the lie. But if you are saying the reality, you won't have any kind of problem. Let's go to the next question. Well, the question number four is the most silly and the most interrupting one. That every single question answer session, this is asked from me again and again, even though I've made more than three videos upon this topic previously. How to speak fluently in English or how to speak fast in English. Now, I'll tell you one more thing. If you haven't watched my previous video, watch it. 
and you guys are compelling me to make these videos again and again and I think I need to make this once again to prove to you people. So as you guys know that by now everything that I've said is including one thing in it, patience and practice. When you have these both things, you can achieve anything in your life. This is too much easy for anyone. If you have a lot of time, you have a lot of patience and you have the ability to do everything, hard work and practice. That's why there's a famous saying that practice makes a man perfect. Mm -hmm. And with these questions, this is all for today's video. Thank you so much for being with me. And I hope I'll meet you in my next video. Until that time, thank you so much and Allah Hafiz.